Pugnacious10 here, and I am back for another video, and today I will be reviewing the Iron Man Extremis Seaport Battle. This set is for ages 6 to 12. Uh, this is set 76006 with 195 pieces. You get the Iron Man Mark II 42 armor. Um, and that's a really nice figure to get there. And then you get the War Machine, which is also a very nice figure to have to your collection. And you get, uh, one of the most important characters, or, uh, minifigures in this whole series. Um, Aldrich Killian, or however you would like to pronounce that. And then we have some nice box art with... Iron Man up in the top right corner. We have Marvel Iron Man 3 logo down in the bottom right corner. And this is a very nice set. Now let's look at the back of the box. Here's the back of the box. And we see uh, Iron Man and War Machine taking out Aldrich Killian out of his sweet boat. Which, uh... Pretty sure this boat in the movie, it was just Tony Stark and War Machine in it. Um, I do wish that we got Iron Patriot in this set, but we will be getting him in an exclusive. So uh, I'll tell you guys more about that at the end of the video, hopefully. Uh, but the War Machine figure is very nice. It shows all the features that you get, and we are going to show you that now. Here's our Iron Man Mark 42 suit, and we did get this figure with the Malibu Mansion attack. And instead of having a white head under the helmet, this time we have Tony Stark's head. And I really do love the detail on this figure, and I really like this figure because the suit, the Iron Man Mark 42, he wears this suit a lot in the movie and it's just a really cool looking suit and I'm, I'm just really amazed with all the detail that they print on there and uh, it looks really cool. We have some nice back printing and it's very de detailed and I also like the helmet and gold. he has golden hands on like the uh, Heartbreaker suit or his previous suits, and then uh, now let's show you Tony Stark's head. Okay, here is Tony Stark's face, and there he is grinning. And now let's see the other side of the face, and uh, he's instead of last last time we had him kind of smirking, and then our double-sided face for our old Tony Stark. We had him, like, with a really serious and angry face, but this time we have him, uh, scared. Oh, little pony star. So there's our Mark 42 suit. Now let's see War Machine. Okay, here we have War Machine, and this is a very nice figure. I really like this figure because of its really nice printing, and it's, very, it's uh, different from the Iron Man suit's printing. Uh, not not too different, but it's something different, and I really like it. Other than just getting Iron Man suits, we also get War Machine suit. Uh, we have Pugnacious Dad here. What do you think of it? You know, looking at it now under the lights, I think this might be my favorite minifigure. I mean, at least of the Iron Man series. It's just, uh, it's really cool because of the monochromatic color scheme. You know, it's like all grays except for the little bit of red on the chest. It's all grays and silvers, and I just think it looks pretty bad. Okay. Bad isn't good, you know. Yeah. So here we have uh, Rhodey, or War Machine. Also, now uh, one of Pug Dad's favorite figures. Maybe put that on his Brick Fair badge. Um, he does have his cannon on his shoulder, which I think is a very nice build that, honestly, for once, LEGO didn't go off in making some whole new piece. 
just to make for that cannon. Yeah, I agree. That's uh, that's cool. I like it when they use pre-existing pieces to to build something. You know, it's to me that's just more creative. Yeah, and it's more to build, more in the set to build instead of just getting one whole piece to put on him. So there is War Machine. Let's uh, take off his blaster and his helmet and see uh, extra detail. So uh, here is Rhodey's face. And it is a very nice face that he has there. He's really angry, though. Yes. Why do you think he's so angry? I don't know. That Lego didn't make an Iron Patriot? I guess so. I guess that's why he's mad. But, I mean, this is a cool suit, so he should be... Really should be happy. Yeah. Okay. And then on the back, then he looks a little sad. He does look sad. He's sorry that he's angry, because... You know, he realizes he, he has such a nice suit and that Pugnacious Dad admires it. I guess that's it. And he also has some really cool back printing. What do you think of the back printing? Yeah, I, I really like it a lot. Once again, I just like that color scheme. It's really cool. So the back looks even better because it doesn't have the red on it. Okay, so there is the War Machine. And now let's see... Aldrich Killian. We have Aldrich Killian, and let's just say he plays a more impor important role in the movie than you would think. Um, that's the non-spoiler way, I'd say. The spoiler way, uh, pause the video or sk skip ahead to five seconds ahead of this. Or, ahead, skip ahead of five seconds of... Add, add five seconds to your timeline and then reverse the video clip. <laughs> Three minutes, but no, if you were in East Coast time, you might. Okay, just skip ahead. Let's He's the Mandarin! <laughs> there, I said it. You should have already seen the movie by now. Come on, everybody in the world seen it. Okay, so there you have it. I'm just <laughs> Killian. Um... He's a really nice figure. I uh, don't really like the skin color with him, how his head is... Oh, I just noticed that. Yeah, it's glow-in-the-dark and his hands are... Just regular are, old hands. Or flesh color and... It's... Caucasian flesh color. Yeah. To be politically correct. And then he has... I'd say a necessary headpiece, but Lego has been overusing that headpiece. And I feel like I've said that before, but Lego's been overusing that hairpiece. Yeah, but it really works because that guy in the movie had kind of a, you know, cheesy he haircut. He did. Makes him look creepy. And I think his face, other than the, how it's just full-blown white, it, I think it does look like the real actor who plays it, his face in the end. In the end. Yeah. And I like how it glows in the dark. If you have a studio light like me, uh, they're LED lights, I believe, uh, you just hold it up to them for, I'd say, 20 seconds if you want to get it really glowing. It'll glow really nice. And on the uh, back printing... Check out that back printing. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Probably the best back printing I think I've ever seen. Okay, you know, let's you... not be sarcastic. <laughs> and he does have a double-sided face, I believe. Uh, Pugnacious Dad, you want to go ahead and slip off his hair, please? Oh, I'm knocking the camera all over the place. This is ready. Pugnacious Dad is officially coming to this video. <clears throat> there we go. All right, let me spin it around. Oh, my goodness, it's a bloody mess. And, uh, so, I don't think Lego really got the whole extremist look down. Because um, we had this on another figure, but it really looks like... I don't know, it kind of looks like some kind of clown makeup. Yeah, or it could look like, yeah, it looks like just face makeup or something like that. Or he could be bleeding. I don't know. He looks like a mutant creature to me uh, with laser eyes, but they're just trying... I think they should have made it orange or something. But in the movie, they were kind of like 
I want to say lava or something. Like their yeah. face was like. So they were glowing from the inside out. And they would. Ex Which spoiler. I mean, it's, they've got the glow spoiler. head, but you know. It kind of glows green. Yeah, mm -hmm. not red. So maybe Lego could work on that somehow. Yeah, they did the best they could. But overall, it's if you want to have. If you want to have the Lego Iron Man 3 sets and uh, have the most important figures, there's a fly flying around, so you can hear that buzzing. Uh, I would say this is an important figure to get on your list of important Iron Man 3 figures. So if you're just going to order your figures off of eBay or something just wanting the figures, I would get this figure because it's very important. Here is the speed boat, nice little boat you get. Or, uh, I thought this was Lego's version of Trevor's boat in the movie. And, uh, I'm not going to tell you who Trevor is yet. We've already had enough spoilers in this. <laughs> Pugnacious dad. Um. Sorry. Yeah. And, so here are all the features we get with this. It's a nice shot of your hand. Thank you. <laughs> So all the features we get here is you can move up that window. I'd say this is the most exciting feature. Um, for our next features, I really like this flick fire. Um, I feel that Lego is getting is trying to get creative in some way of their flick fire missiles because I guess they finally noticed that not many people really like flick fires. But I see that they've come to notice this in a few sets now, lately, that they have done something cool with the flick fire missile. Yeah, they're changing it up a little mechanism. bit. Mechanism, yeah. And so, I'll stop blabbering so yep. I can show you this. Uh, I kind of need to have my hand there, and I'm gonna try to fire it. Oh, well, wherever it fires. Okay, that was pathetic. Let's see, can I do it faster? Yep. So there you go. That was beautiful. And Let it spin. Of course, it, it just fires nice and easy to about right in front of the camera, but I think that's perfect because you really don't need it to go flying across across half of the room. Um, you can take put one back in there. Okay. Can you do that. And spin it, spin it around so we can see the back. So see what the mechanism looks like. Yeah, there you go. That's a good shot of it. Now, now fire it. Oops. Can you do it? Oh. Well, anyway, you get the, yeah, so the gist of how the mechanism works. Yeah, that's pretty cool. See, they're, they're starting to get creative. So maybe Lego is taking their advice for flick fire missiles and they're not really that bad. I think uh, the design of this boat is really good. Yeah, there's my hand again. I think the design of this boat is really cool. Uh, I think Lego didn't just throw this boat together and that it's definitely not as... It's it's bigger than I thought it would be, and I think that will happen with you too. It really doesn't look that big at first, but then once you build it, it's just a really nice build. I had fun building it. You take this piece off, and you have some dynamite in there. Then inside of the boat, I think just, I think Lego did a really good job with this. Inside of the boat, you got some controls in there. You got a little steering wheel, and some little holders in there. I can move, I can take this piece off. Uh, you do have... Three stickers. Bring it towards the camera here. just a little bit. So. Let's, get it to, let's get it a little more to close. There you go. And there is basically all you really need to see the boat. And here's the bottom. And you have some blue pieces on here. So we can slide across your carpet or your floor nice and easy. And it's not really going to be rough to slide around. And it's also blue, so it looks like water. Now let's see our last part of this set, and uh, it's a fly. Wrap it up. Yeah, you got a fly. It's a killer fly. 
from Iron Man 3. Oh, sorry, another spoiler. Here we have JC82, and uh, this is my favorite figure in this set. I'm just kidding. Uh, here we have the smallest part of this set, and I think this is either a little buoy, is that what they call them? A buoy. This could be something like that, uh, that's rigged with explosives, or just some fancy explosive, but it does have a little code on there. Um, little number, I guess. I don't know what that would be for, and that's what makes me think it's a buoy. Unless that's like the number of the explosive. But the feature of this is I'm going to push down on this gray part here. And the top part's going to pop off. Not the best feature ever. Um, I've seen a lot of this in LEGO sets, but it's still nice to have another part of the set. And you have some blue pieces down here representing water. Thanks so much for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed uh, the company and commentary of Pugnacious Dad. And tell me if you did like that so we can go ahead and uh, put Pugnacious Dad in some more videos because I know he enjoys it. Thanks for having me. No problem. You know, you can just walk right into my room. Anyway. So what? What are you going to rate it? Because uh, I know what I'll rate this at. What are you going to rate it? Well, I think because of the figures you get in it, I'm going to I'm gonna give it at least a 9 out of 10. I mean, it's a small set, but, you know, for a small set, I, I think it's pretty cool. That The boat's got a lot of neat pieces you could use for future mocks, and I really love War Machine, so 9 out of 10 for me. Okay, yeah, I think, uh, you know... I think I'm just going to have to agree with Pugnacious Dad because, you know, War Machine, like you said, that's being Pugnacious Dad's, one of his favorite figures now. Uh, and this is a lot more than I expected it would be. And uh, I hope, thank you guys for actually who fly right in the shot, um, who watched through this video considering this is kind of late to review it, but it's, you get to see... It's kind of a better review after the movie, so we're not like, this guy I think does that. So, thanks for watching uh, this review. Please tell me what it is like with Pugnacious Dad. Uh, if you liked Pugnacious Dad, just say in the comments. If you didn't like Pugnacious Dad, you don't have to... Well, yeah, what if they say bad things about me? I might cry. So, you'll have Pugnacious Dad cry, and don't speak with the dislike and the like button so you know and I, I got this from a other custom Lego guy who does customs uh, shout out to him Noble Artists and uh, he always says if you're gonna dislike it then hit the thumbs down button that you see after you turn your computer upside down yeah and fast forward five seconds so thanks for watching this review with uh, spoilers. Um, also, if you guys want to see a video of this custom Steve that I made a while ago, uh, just tell me in the comments if you'd like to see a review on that. We should have Brick Breaking News uploaded soon, hopefully. And that's all. Check out my new channel, The Nerd Cave. It's not really my channel, it's me and a couple other nerds, and we're doing nerdy things. So thanks so much for watching. This is Pugnacious10. Remember to build your imagination with Lego. And I'm out.